Did you know that the ancient Maya civilization was one of the most advanced in the world? They were like the Silicon Valley of their time, but with more pyramids and less Wi-Fi. Let's journey through time and explore the wonders of the Maya world. All right, let's hit the rewind button and go way back. We're talking before the Maya were even the Maya back. So where did these ancient folks pop up from? The Maya civilization is believed to have evolved from the Olmec culture, which was chilling around what is now Mexico, way before the Maya entered the chat. The Olmecs were like the cool older siblings with their colossal stone heads and all. Now, fast forward a bit, and the Maya started to emerge around 2000 BC in the Yucatan Peninsula. That's in present-day Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. For those of you who skipped geography class, they didn't just pop up out of nowhere. They were influenced by the cultures around them, especially the Olmecs, and the Maya civilization was kicking it for over 3,000 years. They had their ups and downs, but man, did they leave a mark. They were building cities when most of us were still figuring out fire. Welcome to the ancient metropolises. The Maya cities were like the New York of the ancient world, minus the traffic. Think skyscrapers, but in pyramid form. Tikal, anyone? It's like the Empire State Building of the jungle. And let's not forget about Chichen Itza, where you can witness the magic of a serpent slithering down a pyramid during the equinox. How's that for a light show? Oh, and did we mention Palenque? This city was the ancient world's version of a swanky art district. The architecture is so intricate, it makes modern buildings look like Lego sets. And the murals! They're like the ancient version of street art, telling tales of Maya life and mythology. And here's a fun fact. The Maya cities were connected by Sakbiyab, white roads made of limestone. Imagine cruising down these ancient highways in decked out chariot. The Maya were all about that high life and their cities were the beating heart of their civilization. So next time you're stuck in traffic, just think about zipping through the ancient Maya metropolis. Vroom, vroom. Now let's talk about the bling bling. The Maya were trading moguls. They were swapping goods like cacao beans, jade, and obsidian like it was Black Friday every day. And guess what? They used cacao beans as currency. Imagine paying for your new ride with chocolate. They were also agriculture geniuses. Corn was their gold, and they were farming pros. They could grow crops on a rock if they had to. And their marketplaces? Picture the hustle and bustle of ancient bazaars with the aroma of spices and the chatter of traders. They had a Walmart-sized love for shopping, and their markets were the beating heart of their cities. So next time you're haggling for a bargain, channel your inner Maya trader. Did you know that the Maya had a god for almost everything? From rain to corn, they had it covered. Chalk, the rain god, was like the ancient meteorologist. And let's not forget about Ishil, the goddess of fertility. The Maya were big on rituals and ceremonies, and they knew how to throw a spiritual party. Bloodletting anyone? It was like their version of a day spa, but with more blood and less cucumber water. And oh, the costumes, decked out in vibrant feathers and intricate masks. They really knew how to make a fashion statement while paying homage to the gods. It was like the Met Gala of the ancient world, but with a divine guest list. Imagine playing a game where the losers might get sacrificed. Welcome to the Maya Bowl game, folks. It was like the Super Bowl, but with higher stakes. The game had religious significance, and it was more than just scoring goals. It was about honor, glory, and not becoming a human sacrifice. Talk about pressure. And get this, the ball was made of solid rubber and could weigh up to nine pounds. Imagine getting hit by that. It's like playing dodgeball with a bowling ball. The Maya were basically the ancient nerds of Mesoamerica. They had their own writing system with glyphs that looked like a cross between emojis and doodles. They were also math whizzes. Zero? They knew all about it before it was cool. And the codices? These ancient books were like the Maya version of Wikipedia, but with more accuracy and less editing wars. Plus, they had this knack for astronomy that they integrated into their calendar. Talk about multitasking geniuses. 2012, end of the world? Nah, the Maya calendar was way more than a doomsday prophecy. They were stargazing masters and used their astronomical knowledge to create a super accurate calendar. 
They knew when to plant crops, when to throw festivals, and when to just chill. So let's put the apocalypse rumors to rest. The Maya were too busy being astronomical geniuses to worry about the end of the world. And get this, their calendar was so precise that it could predict lunar and solar eclipses centuries in advance. Beat that, modern day calendar apps! Did you know the Maya were the original fashionistas? They had a flair for art, craft, and style. Their pottery could give modern day China a run for its money. And their jade masks? Talk about a fashion statement. They even had elaborate headdresses that would make any modern day celebrity's red carpet outfit look like pajamas. The Maya were all about that blink and craftsmanship. Plus their textiles were woven with such intricate patterns and vibrant colors that they'd make your grandma's quilts look like beginner's work. Seriously, the Maya were the trendsetters of the ancient world. The Maya were basically the first environmentalists. They were one with nature, and they knew their herbs. Need a cure for that pesky cold? The Maya had an herb for that. They were like the ancient botanists and veterinarians rolled into one. From understanding the medicinal properties of plants to domesticating wild turkeys, the Maya were all about that green life. And let's not forget about their sustainable farming techniques, which were so ahead of their time that modern day farmers can take a page out of the Maya's ancient agriculture book. Hold on to your taste buds, because Maya cuisine is a flavor explosion. Corn was like the ancient superfood, and the Maya were popping it like popcorn before it was mainstream. And chocolate? The Maya were the OG chocoholics. They were sipping on cocoa before the first coffee shop even existed. Spices, tamales, and a dash of chili. That's Maya cuisine for you. Plus, they had this fantastic dish called pokchuk, which is basically the granddaddy of all barbecues. Tender, marinated meat grilled to perfection. Trust us, your taste buds would be doing the cha-cha. Behind every great Maya ruler was a great Maya woman. Women in Maya society were the backbone of the culture. They were weavers, healers, and sometimes rulers. And speaking of rulers, let's talk about Pakul the Great, the ancient superstar king. He ruled for around 70 years, and he was all about building and expanding. His pyramid in Palenque is like the beta version of a skyscraper. And let's not forget about Lady Six Guy, a queen who was a force to be reckoned with. The Maya knew how to pick their leaders. Did you know the Maya civilization didn't just vanish into thin air? It's like a season finale with a cliffhanger. There were droughts, over farming, maybe some internal squabbles. And then the Spanish conquest was like that plot twist no one saw coming. The Spanish brought new diseases and were not the friendliest of guests. The Maya civilization took a hit and it was the end of an era. Fasten your Indiana Jones hats because we're going on an adventure. Lost cities of the Maya are popping up like a real-life treasure hunt. With the help of modern technology like LiDAR, which is basically magic laser beams, archaeologists are uncovering ancient cities in the jungles. It's like the Maya left us a treasure map and we're just now figuring it out. The Maya were not just about cities and corn. They had some epic myths and legends, like the hero twins who played ball games against the lords of the underworld. Talk about high-stakes sports. And the modern legacy? The Maya culture is alive and kicking. There are millions of Maya people today, keeping traditions alive, speaking the languages, and yes, making that delicious chocolate. And that's a wrap on our journey through the Maya civilization. From corn to pyramids, to ancient kings and queens, the Maya world is a treasure trove of wonders. So keep that explorer hat on and dive into the history books, because the Maya have left an indelible mark on the world. Until next time, keep exploring. Now, hit subscribe and watch more of our videos to help us grow. Thanks.